In this video, we're checking out a brand new range of filters from Freewell, and they're the world's first truly versatile magnetic filter set. So let's get into it. Hey, I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys and welcome back to another video. Now, as mentioned, we're taking a look at this brand new filter set from Freewell and it's one of the world's first truly magnetic filter packs, which means you can simply magnetically attach and detach CPL filters and D filters and a mist filter to your camera's lens, which makes it super easy. So if you're new to the world of ND filters, essentially they're like sunglasses for your camera's lens and they allow you to control both the shutter speed and the amount of bokeh in your background so you can really control the depth of field. So uh, you also get included a CPL filter as well and that means you can take reflections off glass, off water, off computer screens which is pretty cool and you also get a mist filter so you can add that vintage and dreamy look to all of your videos. So let's take a look at this filter pack. So the pack contains a lot of filters so let's explain a bit more in depth about each one. So within the pack you get a two to five stop you get a six to nine stop. These are also the ND32 CPL filters and you just reverse them to use the CPLs. You also get a VND base filter which you can have on for all of your filters or you can take them off. And then you get the mist base filter. So you can pop that on first and that gives you your mist look. And then you can combine that with one of the other two to five uh, stop filters and pop that on top or the variable ND filters. So it's really, really versatile. And we recommend definitely checking out uh, what you can do with each filter. Maybe set up a little scene at home and uh, have a little play around with that. Now you get included this little case as well. So this just makes it handy if you are carrying around all of your filters, you can put the base filter on to your lens directly and then you can just pop all of your other filters in here to keep them safe and it just makes it nice and easy to pop in your bag or to pop onto your camera as and when you need them. So with other filters on the market if you had all of these you would need to screw them on and unscrew them off your camera's lens each time you wanted to change your filter or effect. So with this it's really really simple you simply grab the ring with the red line around it screw that onto your lens and then this can remain essentially on your camera's lens and then all you need to do uh, we recommend using the vnd base filter all you want to do is just make sure you line up the two freewell logos like so and then you can apply the two to five stop just magnetically like so and that's how easy it is to change so if we go from the two to five to the six to nine you can see it just magnetically pops on. And what's nice about these filters is that they still have a hard stop. Now, if you haven't used a filter with a hard stop before, you'll know that if you just keep spinning around and it doesn't have a hard stop, you'll often get this horrible cross effect across your footage. So that's what's great about these. Um, it does have a hard stop, so you won't get the horrible cross effect. Now, if you are using a CPL filter, we would recommend taking out this VND base filter first and then popping on the CPL filter and just having the CPL facing away from you. Otherwise you may find the CPL effect doesn't work. So just a little tip there if you are grabbing these filters. Okay, so let's take a little closer look at the two to five stop. Now, when you pop it on, it is magnetic as we mentioned, but there's just something you wanna look out for. There's actually a little capital A on the filter itself and you wanna make sure that you line up the capital A with the A on the filter here. So I'm gonna make sure the capital A lines up and then what happens, you'll feel like a slight little click as it goes on, and this enables the hard stop. If you don't do that, and you maybe don't align it properly, you'll find that maybe it will spin all the way around. So just make sure you do that. Um, it's really, really simple. You know, you don't need to do it so accurately. As long as they're kind of roughly together, it will kind of pop into place, which is really good. And as you can see, you get that nice, satisfying hard stop. And of course, the same applies for the six to nine stop here. So let's get the capital A, I can see that there. Boom, and it's on, and you've got a hard stop there too, which is really good. So next, let's take a look at the CPL filter. Now, CPL filters are really good. Now, a lot of uh, video makers out there, you may have heard of an ND filter, but I think a lot of video content creators 
don't really use CPLs or may maybe haven't heard of CPL. So what you need to do if you're gonna use the CPL is first take off any base filters from the lens itself and then pop on the CPL. Otherwise, you may find that the CPL filter doesn't really work um, at all. And now we've got a circular polarizing filter. Now this is really cool. We'll film some examples here in Manchester. And what they're really good for is that they take reflections out of glass or water, for example. So as you can see in some of the examples here, in the shot scenes, you can see that you have quite heavy reflections here in the city. So if you're filming maybe someone sitting in a car or you're filming a shop window, if you just turn these CPL filters, as long as you're standing at the right angle away from the sun, these will work really well at reducing or in some cases completely removing reflections. So it's really worth looking at. If you are filming in a car, if you are filming someone using a phone or a laptop, try using a CPL filter as it will just make your shots look much more clear and it will get rid of that distracting reflections from glass or water as well. So that's the ND and the CPL filters and they work really, really well. But we wanted to save the best to last and this is what's called a mist filter. Now, I haven't actually got a chance to use one of these before. So this was the first time that we used one and Lewis took this out for the day and used this. And it's really, really cool. It simply applies the same way as the other base filter. It just line up your free will icons there and it will snap on. And this just adds such a nice dreamy and vintage look to all of your shots. So you pop this on, you can use this with the NDs as well. So we can just pop that on like so. And then we've got a really dreamy vintage look and ND that we can add to any of our video productions. So it just makes it so much more versatile. Maybe you're filming a music video and you wanna give it that vintage or that kind of dreamy, softer look. Try adding the mist filter to achieve that and just check out some of our shots. So that's a look at some of the filters, but I think what makes this whole pack and these new magnetic filters really special is just how easy they are to use. You know, just because they use magnets, it just saves you so much time when you're on a shoot. You know, we've got a couple of ND filters that screw on. And the problem is, you know, if you are outside shooting and you're in a bit of a hurry, just taking the filters out of your bag, screwing them on, realizing you need a higher ND, unscrewing that and putting a new one on, just takes a lot of time. And this is just so fast. I mean, you can't really get any faster than just that, you know, it's so quick. And uh, it means you can multiply different filters as well very, very easily like the, the mist filter we showed you there. Now, when Freewell come to launch this, we believe it's gonna be around $400. Uh, and that's for the entire pack, which is actually pretty well priced. They're gonna do a launch price, we think of around $300, but to confirm that, I will put a link in the description below. Now, if you look on Amazon or websites like CVP or B&H, for very similar filters like this, you'll be looking in the range of $400 to $800 if you want all of these filters. And these are super high quality as well. They've got 18 layers of kind of protection and coating. So they're water resistant, they're oil resistant, and they're scratch resistant too. So, you know, if you are spending money on filters, you wanna make sure you get some good quality ones. And these are certainly that. And they all come in this little pack, which is really handy. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, they're gonna be doing them for the following thread sizes. They're gonna have 58 mil, 62 mil, 67, 72, 77, 82, and 95, but of course they will work with any thread adapter, which is good. So just have a check on the side of your camera which thread size yeah, you need, and you'll probably find that these filters will fit your camera. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description below. I hope that's helped. I really do think they are quite cool. If you want a kind of one-stop solution to getting some good ND, some good CPL, and to get that really cool mist filter for maybe music videos or some uh, corporate videos you're shooting, then check them out. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and check out the link in the description if you want to check those out. And a big thanks to Freewell for sending these through to us.